Akshay Nangopal joining us uh, on the phone line. Akshay, take us to the key highlights. Uh, um, Amit Shah's briefing, JP Nadda, of course, to lead uh, the BJP's mission 2024. That's right, Abba and uh, Amit Shah there in that news briefing highlighting all the achievements of J.P. Nadda, but also uh, stressing on the fact that Nadda is going to be leading the party into the 2024 general elections. His uh, original term as BJP president was to end actually uh, right now, but it's been extended. It was to end this year. It's been extended to 2024. He took over as the BJP president in June 2019. So he's seen many, many successful elections as well. That was when he was the BJP working president. And from then, he's played a crucial role in the Bharatiya Janata Party in orchestrating election campaigns, in figuring out election strategies as well. It's in recognition of that that the BJP has taken this call of letting J.P. Nadda to continue as the BJP president till next year. Now, what Amit Shah has also confirmed in that news briefing is that Nadda will continue as the BJP chief till June 2024. So that will be, in fact, a few months after the 2024 elections. Nine states that go into elections this year, Aba, all of that will be fought under the leadership now of J.P. Nadda by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Of course, uh, also important to highlight here, needless to say, that both Amit Shah, Prime Minister Modi, play a huge part in strategizing for elections in the campaign being the face of the rallies. But J.P. Nadda has also become uh, an important core member of the BJP in taking these crucial decisions. Often now it's this powerful trio that takes the important election political calls as well. So in the national executive meet, this was expected that there would be a decision on J.P. Nadda and now the confirmation coming in that Nadda will continue to June 2024. All right. Uh, anything else in terms of uh, anything we can read into over here, Akshita? Of course, there is the uh, posturing, the big announcement coming in as was expected. But you know, it's such a high-level meet, and it's going to be on, uh, you know, for a while yet. Um, anything else that we can read into here in terms of uh, the strategy going ahead now for the next year? There will be questions uh, about when really the BJP will have uh, a an election, so to say, an internal party election, and when we could see a change of guard, and who it could perhaps be, because right now there's a lot of talk of a lot of senior leaders also being groomed for the role. But it looks like the BJP has kind of decided that the current election formula and the success that they've been tasting, Abba, is something that they will carry forward as well. Uh, and Amit Shah has highlighted exactly that. When he makes comments like, you know, J.P. Nadda has brought vibrancy to the Bharatiya Janata Party. He's highlighting the successes uh, that the BJP has in fact tasted in the last few years under J.P. Nadda's leadership. Uh, important to also highlight here that uh, the decision to actually extend J.P. Nadda's uh, uh, tenure uh, was endorsed by Rajnath Singh. Uh, but remember that J.P. Nadda had assumed uh, office uh, on 20th January 2020 and even then uh, uh, when the announcement was made there were a lot of question marks about who would be Amit Shah's successor. So uh, you know important messaging by the BJP on that front that uh, the predecessor essentially who J.P. Nadda succeeded Amit Shah is the one today holding that press conference and highlighting not just J.P. Nadda's achievements but also talking about how in the road ahead, J.P. Nadda's role is so very crucial in taking things forward for the party. Nine assembly elections, so while we talk about 2024, Abha, this year too is extremely crucial for the BJP. Shah highlighted that. He said that we've got several points that we want to focus on. The south of India, for example, where this year you're going to see two big elections in Telangana and Karnataka, so he's saying that's something that we want to really focus on and create some sort of driver there, create a change, ensure that we uh, kind of work on the uh, focus that we have in some of these southern states and build on that. So that's going to be a clear, clear focus point. It's been discussed in the two-day national executive meet as well. But the fact that the BJP has decided to stick to the same formula itself shows that they believe that this is a success formula, that this is a mantra that's worked for them in the last few years. Of course, as Amit Shah highlighted, the Gujarat election, the most recent one, uh, was an indication of that. But they've said that look till 2024, we're not going to change anything much. We're going to stick by this formula. Uh, we'll see really how this goes forward for the BJP, whether this uh, decision and this strategy of the BJP actually pays off in the nine states that go to polls this year, or for that matter, in 2024. But the message is clear. They're not willing to shake up things just yet. They're not willing to change things just yet. They know how important it is because you change a leader, you change the face of the party, Abba. You have to establish the person before the general election. And uh, while it seems like there's a whole lot of time for the party to actually go ahead and do that from the grassroots level, takes a lot of work. And it's recognizing that, that perhaps the BJP has decided to stick 
with J.P. Nadda and continue this formula of J.P. Nadda, Amit Shah and Prime Minister Modi leading the party when it comes to these election campaigns, strategies and rallies. All right, Akshita, stay with us. Let's actually listen in to what Amit Shah had to say about J.P. Nadda's uh, uh, tenure extension. Kaibar Bhutkal may be इस प्रकार के अलग अलग मौकों के कारण राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष के कार्यकाल को एक्सटेंशन दिया गया इसी परंपरा का अनुसरण करते हुए श्री जगत प्रकाश नड्डा जी को राष्ट्रीय कार्यकारिणी ने आज सर्वानुमत प्रस्ताव किया है श्री राजनाथ सिंह जी ने इस प्रस्ताव को रखा और सभी भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सदस्यों ने इसको सहर्ष हर्ष धनवी के साथ सर्वानुमत से स्वीकार किया है कि जगत प्रकाश नड्डा जी को जून 2024 तक भारतीय जनता पार्टी के अध्यक्ष के रूप में इनके कार्यकाल को बढ़ोतरी की जाए and uh, you know clearly as you also outlined uh, several reasons of course to uh, uh, grant that tenure uh, to jp nadda as was uh, largely anticipated and ahead of the 2024 polls uh, take us through once again you know what perhaps his uh, his key role will be here now in driving ahead the bjp's uh, campaign and mission for the main election in the last few years uh, aba since in fact jp nadda uh, took over as the bjp chief amit shah has highlighted and stressed that uh, the north east winds that the bjp has enjoyed in the last few years is something that jp nadda must be credited with so while he is someone very much who's not as perhaps public or as big a profile you may think as amit shah or prime minister narendra modi for that matter what's been highlighted today by amit shah is the fact that jp nadda is a very important cog in the wheel perhaps one of the most crucial as well and that there are many decisions that he's taken that's really fueled the bjp forward in winning so many of the states that they boast about right now of having uh, uh, as uh, uh, you know of being in power in many of these states so that uh, according to uh, amit shah jp nadda is the architect of and that's why they've decided to really stick with him right now till the 2024 elections uh, he, in fact he's highlighted the northeast he highlighted the recent gujarat win and he's also in fact amit shah has spoken about how uh, before 2024 this year they're looking to win several of the states remember next in this national executive meet it's two day meet uh, and today is the second day any time now we're expecting the prime minister narendra modi will actually be speaking uh, at the meet as well so there's no doubt that he also uh, will very publicly endorse jp nadda continuing as the bjp president uh, and that's a, a message that's very crucial as well that will permeate down to every karyakarta of the bjp that is jp nadda who remains the party boss it's jp nadda who will lead the fight in the nine assembly elections this year as well as the 2024 general elections for the bjp you know they are uh, a well oiled election machine essentially for them strategies campaigns rallies every single headline that emerges during an election season is something that's extremely crucial is something that they focus on at pinpoint and kind of focus on all the nitty gritties in the election season